one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said, write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. On second down now, it's Elliott. Power running by Zeke. The 20. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, 48 yards. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. A throw on the quick slant, going to be complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's a first down on a gain of 10. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection, maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you wonder, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. Wilson now off the bootleg. Being chased out left. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. That was a nice grab. Just couldn't get the feet down, right? You need that toe tap sequence there. Whatever size shoe he's wearing, probably need about a half size smaller to complete that one. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. There's Wilson. That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. And they stop him up short of the first down as they get him at about the 43. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. Here we go. Here we go. They'll indeed go for it with Wilson. And he's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time and the decision to go for it. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Randy Gregory able to collapse the pocket, get to him, and drop him for a loss of a yard. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. 
Wilson after the play fake to Carson. Rolling to his left. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. On the move to his left. And a big game that time. He's out of bounds on what will be the final play of this first quarter. Second quarter now from Seattle, and it is the Seahawks with the football here as they've got it with a first and ten. Now Wilson on first down. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. The Notre Dame man, Jalen Smith, able to get a hand in and knock it away. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. To throw is Wilson. Throwing again. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. To throw again is Wilson. And he locates Luke Wilson. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Wilson will throw again. This will be caught at about the five. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. From four yards out as they are now on the board here in the first half. Jason Myers now for the extra point. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Watch out, watch out. We're going to 52. They start on the ground with Elliott. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Hey, kill, kill. Kill, kill. 47. On second and nine, Prescott outright completes it to Jarwin. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The last catch nearly got him a first, but it did not. And they'll try to convert on third and inches. Hurdles over him. And yeah, brought down, but not before he was able to break the tackle, and the extra effort moves the sticks. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. So from the 36 now, first and 10, here's Elliott. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches. Two-minute drill. Pass on target. Prescott to Cooper. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 15 yards on the play, first down. Prescott on first down. This is Cobb with a catch right side. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now back to the ground with Elliott. He's got the first down here inside the 30 and all the way down to the 25-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. down throw for Prescott. The tight end Jarwin with it out on the left side. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. They only got a yard out of that last completion and that makes this second and nine. They'll run with Elliott. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. On third down, Elliott. Elliott a first down and more. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott in the final seconds of the first half. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. This is fielded at the goal line. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28 yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? You do something crazy, quarterback gets hit, ball comes free, and now you're down an even bigger margin. Go ahead and take this one. Go. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Cowboys take over first down 10. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies, try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. Switch it, switch it, switch it. Come on, switch it. Shift, shift. Again, it's Elliott. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Bringing him to the ground defensively, Tedrick Thompson. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Drop deep, drop deep. Check nickel, nickel, nickel. Check three, check three, check three. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 
11 yards and a Cowboy first down. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. Going to give this time to the tailback. And an alley to run. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards and first down. Nine yards is the pickup there, and they'll have a second and one. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Elliott. He'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. 22 yards there, a first down. A tough run by Ezekiel Elliott, the fourth overall pick in the 2016 draft. If you watch tape of him in college, you saw plenty of those runs because I know the highlights showed him in the open field breaking away from people, but that's how he wore down defenses, those exact type of runs. Here's Pollard, and he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. This to Jarwin. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Prescott from the gun. Flush to his right. And this is what here? Incomplete, they say. It looked like it was intercepted, but he apparently did not get the two feet down in bounds. Brett Maher now for the Cowboy field goal. The kick by Marr is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to seven. So unable to convert for the touchdown inside the red zone, but they do come away with three. Yeah, it's a 32 yarder. That's essentially an extra point nowadays, right? Because it's 33 as a general rule for these guys. So it should be a simple kick. But you know what's really strange nowadays? When they miss an extra point, I think they carry that with them longer than missing a field goal because an extra point's supposed to be automatic. Absolutely, and I would think even field goals inside of 30 yards, even though they're substantially shorter than a PAT, it, would, it just has a different feel, doesn't it? A different feel, a different vibe. That's what I get from all the kickers I talk to. They always say, if I miss an extra point, that's the one that bothers me more. Now a quick slant as the throw's complete, and they're able to get this one across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. On first down, Carson. And shedding the tackle, and now some room. 30, past the 20. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Chris Carson, 63 yards. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. This is taken at the three. And he breaks it all the way out to the 38-yard line. Great return. The Cowboys take over first down team. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, Touchdowns. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott throwing the out route incomplete. That's Austin. 
17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. That was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Let's go. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now it's Wilson. Left side here, taken in by Metcalf. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Under four to play now. Clock running, third down. Here's Wilson. And he's got Lockett. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Wilson to Lockett there for the Seahawk first down. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. This one into the hands of Metcalf. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot. Wilson hit, it's loose, it's out, fumble. It's picked up by the Cowboys, and his guys will take over at the 30 yard line. Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules by declaring a game over before it's over. But that one, that puts them in real jeopardy there. Absolutely. It was a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game at this stage in the fourth. They needed points out of that drive. And obviously now, no chance at all to get those points that they so...